I am Mark Vatslaviak, and I'm the Senior Manager of Operational Performance here at Avangrid. Uh, Avangrid is a subsidiary of the Spanish energy giant Iberdrola, uh, which has electric utilities in the U.S., Europe, U.K., and Brazil. Um, our electric utility business in particular for Avangrid is in New York, Maine, and Connecticut, uh, with United Illuminating in Connecticut, uh, New York State Electric and Gas, Rochester Gas and Electric, and Central Maine Power. So as an introduction to kind of the operational performance group and, and who we are and what we do um, with this data. So we are the primary data science, um, reliability engineering and KPI and dashboard reporting organization for electric operations at Avangrid Networks, which means we do a lot of work in terms of the manipulation and uh, development and complex modeling using reliability data, right? The outage data, uh, asset data, and new data sets like vegetation data that can really help us get a lot more insights into uh, the grid performance and how best to prioritize our CapEx and OpEx investment, right? To really, again, improve reliability performance for our customers. And just kind of as a couple of you know examples of how we use that data, um, in the upper left, we've got a machine learning model we developed for the Rochester underground to take the asset health, asset age, historical reliability performance of underground and URDs in Rochester to, again, prioritize our replacement of those assets. In the upper right, um, you know, using our financial data as well as historical reliability performance uh, to do essentially prioritization of individual circuits for vegetation trim and hazard tree work. So a lot of work in terms of prioritization of investment and why this is important is we have a very i'd say you know big challenge in the state of new york when it comes to vegetation uh new york state electric and gas has over 900,000 customers and covers about 40 percent of the state of new york and it's also the only electric distribution company in new york without a fully funded trim cycle we do have one division that has um, a five-year trim cycle but there are 13 divisions and again over you know, 30,000 miles of overhead line. So uh, we also have the highest vegetation density in the state of New York. And if you've driven around upstate New York, it is a very tree dense uh, part of the country. So a really big challenge there. And when looking at the historical reliability performance of our circuits, you do see that circuits that have not been within that five year trim cycle or been trimmed within the past five years actually degrade at twice the rate of circuits that have. And so as you can see, looking back at the past 10 years of reliability performance, we have had significant growth in terms of our safety impact due to vegetation as a result, again, of um, you know not having that formal five-year trim cycle. So really see this as the opportunity uh, with LiveEO. So there's limited vegetation funding. And what LiveEO has been able to at least produce for us is a level of risk and exposure data that we haven't had before. On the right is an example of our Ithaca pilot. So up in Ithaca, New York, as you can see, there's a lot of green on that map. And for our circuits, there's a lot of red. And what this is essentially showing is where can you do really targeted vegetation uh, work in here to maximize the reliability and resilience benefit of trip, right? We're modeling our historical reliability data, our asset data, and now this new vegetation layer. But a lot of these are, are lagging indicators, right? How do we get more predictive in terms of our potential failures and mitigating the impact? So we're not only looking at vegetation trim using this data, but how do we essentially drive reliability improvements, resiliency improvements? How do we focus our CapEx and OpEx investment using this new data set to really drive, again, benefits for the customers. That's that's really kind of our, our primary focus here in operational performance. And so when you look at potentially the next steps, right, we've got our results from Ithaca and we want to see different ways to leverage this satellite imagery data with LiveEO. So we've got um, a more focused area in Trumansburg, New York, which is part of our Ithaca division, where we're going to be utilizing very high resolution 2D data, as well as those 3D uh, image analytics. Again, to see where do we have our highest risk segments, and not just highest risk in terms of the segment,
but you know highest customer exposure or potential um, you know aging assets and infrastructure where when you have tree contact you could have a cascading impact because of weak points in the grid right again really driving our uh, you know reliability and resiliency investments and not only for New York right New York has you know challenges with high vegetation density and limited tree funding but for the other electric operating companies United Illuminating is a much more urban and dense environment, right? Essentially going through New Haven and Fairfield counties on the shoreline of Connecticut. Um, we have very specific challenges with vegetation in these environments. How can we utilize our 3D imaging or 2D satellite imaging to identify those hazard trees or risks and exposures that are built into the urban environment and then mitigate it again at a much higher cost than New York. So it's critical again, to use every dollar to maximize that reliability benefit, as well as our, you know, rural, similar to New York, but much more coastal network. You know, Maine has the essentially longest uh, coastline in the United States because it has so many peninsulas that shut out into um, the Atlantic. So how are we able to leverage this to not only, again, look at hazard tree or vegetation spend, but also our reliability, resiliency, strategic undergrounding, having a data set that really allows us to visualize our risk and exposure to the electrical grid, not just right in a rural and densely vegetated area, but in all of these different topographies to, again, maximize our reliability and resiliency benefit for the customers. Thank you. Uh, 